Brian Liverking owes the world a huge, gigantic apology, but certain people might owe him an apology for throwing him under the bus, essentially. And my heart goes out to everybody who's been affected, which, by the way, is not very many people. I don't get the logic of the extreme hatred and uh, vitriol for someone who has misled the public about their personal health and supplement regimen. It's time for Brad to weigh in on the liver king. The internet sensation has become more of a sensation with the recent revelations that he has been using performance enhancing drugs as long suspected by the haters and people asking him point blank on podcasts and major media outlets. So yeah, there's some, uh, there's some, there's some trouble here. And I have some strong feelings about it. I'm a good friend of Brian's. We're business associates. We promote the ancestral supplements male optimization formula with organs, MOFO. And I just wanted to weigh in because boy, what a firestorm and a lot of confusion and controversy has surrounded this for a long time. So first things first, obviously the liver king owes everyone a sincere apology for being misleading, deceptive, and actually answering no when asked point blank due to the high level of suspicion that surrounded him from the time that he started blowing up because of his extreme physique. Interestingly, uh, knowing how this guy lives and eats and trains, I didn't really suspect him at the level that everyone else did because when someone trains that hard and eats with that much scrutiny and regimentation and the five-day fast every quarter, you're going to look pretty effing ripped. And I thought, you know, it's very possible that you can do this uh, without chemical enhancement. And apparently from the stolen <laughs> leaked emails, I believe the story was first broken by the uh, popular YouTube personality, Derek from More Plates, More Dates, uh, showing these emails that somehow he got a hold of. That's another story that's really confusing to me how you uh, acquire uh, stolen confidential property, such as an email, um, pretty pretty strange, pretty messed up. But anyway, um, there is that role of the investigative journalists and all the suspicion people trying to uh, set the record straight. So I guess you could say they're performing a valuable service, but it is kind of disturbing how this story broke um, with um, you know sordid background. Uh, but anyway, um, the the idea that, he was presenting himself and uh, avoiding the issue or hiding the issue of using the chemical enhancements that are known to uh, help build a physique and fitness to the next level. Uh, that's a tough one. And he's going to take a lot of heat for it, going to get a lot of ribbing. Uh, some of the jokesters and the cleverness writing on his comments. Oh, boy, um, it's, you know, it's a firestorm now. And my heart goes out to everybody who's been affected which, by the way, is not very many people because, look, this guy is not wearing the USA on his chest. He's not an Olympic athlete. He's not trying to take down Michael Phelps in the swimming pool or run in the 1500 meter finals against Jakob Binga Britson. He's an internet personality and he's a marketer and promoter. And people are so irate that he's been pitching his liver pills uh, by virtue of his strong physique. And we're supposed to uh, make that uh, assumption that if you purchase this product, you're going to look this good. That's ridiculous. And if you do make those assumptions, you're an idiot. So I don't get the logic of the extreme hatred and uh, vitriol for someone who has misled the public about their personal health and supplement regimen. Um, the As Derek made a good point in his video, um, the, the, the organ supplements are highly recommended. They have good health benefits. They're minimally controversial. And so this is really a story about uh, someone playing a character on the internet because there's Brian Johnson and then there's his character, Liver King. And of course, he's played this extreme character that is meant to be for entertainment, educational and inspirational purposes. And it's kind of none of our business, every single small aspect of his private life. But the doping, when you're asked point blank, and you're on a, a large public audience watching, that's where you get to take some heat and you owe us a sincere apology and everyone is rightfully disappointed and all that. But I think it's really important to um, keep this perspective that one, 
hey, the guy screwed up and he's going to be making amends probably for quite some time. But two, why is all of this uh, so important in our daily life? Why are these haters from the very beginning uh, grinding this topic so hard? When again, we're not talking about an Olympic athlete who's violating doping standards or breaking world records and cheating other athletes out of uh, a glory and fair competition. So that part coming from a long time involved in elite professional sports and especially the influence of doping, especially in endurance sports, it's a very um, uh, 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 touchy and sensitive subject to me when we have aspects of cheating on the grand stage of competition. And this is completely uh, irrelevant to those major, major issues that we have in elite international Olympic and professional sports. So for the haters, um, take care of your own business first before you uh, layer on more and more time and energy toward the incredible uh, disastrous scandal of the liver king. Most of my friends that operate in real life and don't live and breathe ancestral health could give a crap about any of this. And that brings to mind uh, the commentary from Paul Saladino, who's Brian's longtime friend, business associate, mentor, seemingly in many ways, because uh, Paul started taking his shirt off and getting more views as well. They're pitching the same product. They're both involved in the heart and soil business. So they're largely intertwined. And he took the opportunity to really uh, slam Brian with some amazingly critical feedback, um, kind of overboard, uh, kind of smacking of virtue signaling. And personally, I try to operate by the code of taking things to the source. Thank you, Martin Bronze, former CEO of Interwoven My Boss, where he spread these ideals to an entire corporate culture. So if you got an issue in life, take it to the source. And yes, indeed, I had a nice long conversation with Brian Liverking recently. So we've had our personal interaction prior to me uh, publishing these comments. And guess what? Those, uh, those, uh, that discussion was private. And now I'm going to give you my public comments. I don't need anyone's blessing. I don't care uh, necessarily what Liver King thinks about it or what Paul Saladino thinks about my comments here. But I want to share with you because I have strong feelings about this. So um, back to that uh, leaked email. And if you watch Derek's uh, interesting, lengthy video about this whole story unfolding where Liver King is listing the uh, the, the agents that he's on and is seeking guidance from seemingly a professional coach who has knowledge about this, uh, you'd kind of wonder who the hell would give up uh, these important documents from uh, if it was the, the hired gun that Brian was using or someone in the world who had the ability to uh, hack into these private and confidential emails. And that includes Derek because part of Derek's presentation was, hey, check this out. I have an email sitting in my inbox uh, from Brian or someone on his staff asking for help and support and guidance, perhaps on the topic of supplements as well as performance enhancing drugs. So when I interact confidentially with somebody or someone sends me an email, I don't care if we have a falling out later. I just don't feel like it's right to spread it with the world. So Brian Liverking owes the world a huge, gigantic apology. But certain people might owe him an apology for throwing him under the bus, essentially, and bringing a private matter into public light by untoward means. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I talked to you about my personal interactions with him. So one thing that's really important to realize is that this guy does indeed live this incredibly extreme, high-powered, high-performance lifestyle where he's pushing the limit in every way with his eating, with his five-day fast, with his extreme workouts like the Barbarian, and apparently, or most positively, also pushing the limits with the use of performance-enhancing drugs in search of those incremental benefits. But the funny thing to me is like, he didn't need those. He was already at level 9.99 with everything that he was doing in his life. His home is a sanctuary from electromagnetic fields. He has a chef making all his meals for him. And in terms of the uh, the drug regimen, a big mistake for someone who's a public figure and denying it left and right, but unnecessary. So it's kind of a, a sad that this had to play into the whole mix here. And also on that topic of it being none of our business, um, amusing that the cost of such regimen uh, was apparently somewhere around twelve to fifteen thousand dollars a month. So it's especially nobody's business unless they have that discretionary budget to fool around with that. So I get possibly with all this complexity, why 
maybe the liver king wasn't so forthcoming about this extremely expensive elitist drug regimen because it has little relevance to anyone unless there's someone out there that wants to go from level 9.9 .9 to level 10. Maybe when this stuff all blows up and Brian comes clean with a complete presentation, um, he can uh, share what's worked and what hasn't worked. And it feels like all these things with a, with a character like that pushing the limit in every way uh, could be categorized as an experiment. And betcha, he will probably cease performing this experiment in very short time due to the fallout and come back to a, a balance and a calibration. So um, again, the biggest picture, I don't want to sound apologetic or anything because I think we should all demand 100% authenticity with public figures uh, promoting health, promoting lifestyle, and especially promoting products. So I'll share with you right now on my channel. I did a quick cursory review before recording this. I have a 0% deception or inauthentic content published, written, spoken about. This is me, um, not deceiving you in any way. However, I'm also not letting you into every single aspect of my personal business. No, I don't take secret performance enhancing drugs, nor any magical uh, uh, health uh, perspectives that I'm not sharing with you, but I think you get the point. It's sort of like um, I'm not going to open up my spreadsheets uh, for my business or talk about personal family matters that aren't relevant uh, to the content that I put out. So I think it's important to have those boundaries and, and barriers, especially uh, respectfully when it comes to celebrities and this extreme sensation that the Liver King has become with his whole life blowing up uh, at his behest, of course, and he invited us into his life with all his filming and all his content. Uh, but we all need to have those healthy boundaries. And I think the, the boundary point is when someone asks you about something, you're compelled to tell the truth. And maybe the truth could be, I refuse to talk about that because I don't want to get into it. That would certainly cause a problem. But we, uh, we owe that to every celebrity. It reminds me of the uh, Olympic hurdler in the 2004 games in Athens uh, Fanny Halklia from Greece, she shattered the world record and won the gold medal by an extreme margin where the previous year she was a clean, complete nobody. And they had her in the press conference with this amazing performance, highly suspicious that performance enhancing and drugs were involved because cer certain other Greek athletes were banned and suspended. So it was out there in the air. And they asked her about her training regimen that enabled her to have such an amazing performance breakthrough never before seen in track and field. And she says, I don't wish to speak about my training <laughs> in a press conference after winning the Olympic gold medal. So, OK, uh, 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 respect her boundaries, but talk about uh, suspicions. Of course, we're going to have suspicions. I think that's about all I have to say for now. But let's all get back to doing the best we can with our own personal health and peak performance regimen and pick and choose the information and the inspiration that is relevant and helpful to you and perhaps discard the rest instead of uh, getting the uh, the uh, you know the um, uh, obsession with controversy and uh, sparks and drama i think there's enough of that to go around in real life and politics and world matters so thank you for watching